Want to discover how to make a stencil? I'll show you how. I'm Megan Carter, and this is Ask the Decorator. To make stencils, you must first find patterns you'd like to trace. If you can draw freehand, you won't need a pattern, but for those who don't trust their drawing skills, a pattern is necessary and easy to find. Look at china, pillows, books, fabric, and even wallpaper for beautiful patterns to trace. I'll be using the French Quarter wallpaper from Waverly. This pattern is very beautiful and perfect for a stencil because each part of the pattern is disconnected. If you choose a picture that does not have disconnected parts, then you will have to draw those in yourself. Once you've found the pattern you would like to trace, you will need a clear or transparent piece of fairly thick plastic. You will want to use a thick piece of plastic so that it is durable and a clear, transparent piece of plastic because it will allow you to trace the pattern easily. I'm using presentation covers. To trace the pattern, place the clear plastic over what you are drawing. Use a fine point permanent marker and remember, take your time, it's not a race. If your pattern is too big for the plastic, make separate stencils and overlap a part of the pattern on both stencils so you can see where they line up. When you are finished tracing your stencil, Fill in each section with the color you plan to use. That will help you visualize whether or not you like the stencils and colors. If your pattern has different colors very close together, you'll want to make a stencil for each color you plan to use. That way you won't accidentally paint out the lines when it comes time to use the stencil. Instead, you will be able to use one stencil at a time for a seamless finish. Once you've traced all of your stencils, it is time to cut them. Use a very sharp razor blade and again, take your time. You don't want to cut yourself. After you've finished cutting out your entire design, you're done. Pretty simple, huh? What an easy way to make a beautiful statement in your home. I'm Megan Carter, and this is Ask the Decorator. For more decorating tips and information on new decorating products, visit my website, askthedecorator.com.